What's up team? Welcome back to another quick how-to video. In today's video, I thought I would show you how to restore an old color bond roof. If you are looking at restoring your own color bond roof, then you can just follow these few simple steps and the process is all quite easy. So watch the video. I hope you learned something and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks. In this particular project, you can see the roof is actually quite steep and it has bullnose verandas all the way around. So for this particular job, we couldn't use ground up scaffold or safety rail. Instead, we opted to use an anchoring system and a rope access system. So if you have a roof that is similar to this and you're wondering how to access it safely, the first thing you want to do is get yourself some height safety anchors and strategically place them around the roof so you can access all areas of the roof safely while suspended by a rope. Once you have your anchors set up, set your ropes out like a spider's web. Okay, now that we can safely access the roof, the next thing you want to do is get yourself a hold of an industrial pressure washer. These things are a little bit more powerful than your everyday carter at home and punch out about 4,500 PSI at the tip. So you want to be really careful using this thing because it will take the top of your boot off. Get yourself a good harness and some heavy duty ropes and we are ready to go. Alrighty, now using safe climbing techniques, find yourself a good spot to start get yourself up on that roof make sure you have your lance safely secured to your harness and you can start pressure washing you can't quite see in this video but we try to be connected at all times to two anchors so if one of our ropes fails we've always got the second one to hold us in position you can see in this video here i'm just using the tip of the, the lance to work up and down the tin doing rib by rib I keep it very close to the roof and just making sure I get every little bit of moss and old dirt off the roof, give it a nice clean and we're actually taking the top layer of coat off the tin. So if you have water tanks and things like that, you want to make sure there that the water coming off the roof is diverted away from those so you don't get all that moss and old paint flakes in the top of your water tank. Alrighty, let's not forget the poolside pergola. Okay, now that you've finished washing not only the roof, but the pergola, you're gonna find that you've made a hell of a lot of mess under the roof and all around the property. So just take some time, spend about an hour or so just rinsing the entire property down, getting rid of all that mud and all that gutter mark away from the front door, the verandas, the balconies, the windows, basically gonna give the entire outside of the house a nice makeover. Now that the house and the roof is all nice and clean, it's time to inspect those gutters. And as you can see here, some of these gutters are well overdue for replacement. Find yourself a nice shady spot in the garden, Make sure you order the correct gutters and cut them all to size and install them as per Australian Standard 3500. Okay, we're getting closer now. The house is washed, the roof is rinsed, all the gutters have been changed. Now, because we're changing the color of the roof, you'll see that the render of the house is actually a light cream color and we don't want any overspray on any of the, the cream surfaces because it will really show up. So make sure you work around the whole house and mask up any areas you don't want to get overspray on. That includes obviously skylights, air conditioning units, solar panels, satellite dishes, and of course any polycarbonate roofing. Now you'll see here, I forgot to mention earlier that we replaced the polycarbonate on this roof, which is old and fragile and quite brittle with new opal polycarbonate. Because some of the gutters weren't replaced on this particular roof, we have masked up underneath the gutters because these are all going to get painted 
with the new coat. Okay, and now it's time to prime the roof. Yeehaw! Once you've primed the whole roof with an etched primer, make sure you go over the entire roof one more time just to check all your masking tape hasn't come apart, that you're not going to overspray into any of the white render or the other surfaces that you don't want the charcoal paint to get onto. Have a look, make sure there's no dirt or debris in the gutters. And now we are ready to start coating. To install a nice even coat on the roof, you want to be using an airless industrial paint machine. Okay, you don't want to spray the coat around in patches. You want nice long even strokes from the bottom of the roof sheet all the way to the top of the roof sheet so it's a nice even layout right across the whole roof surface. Once you finish that first coat, go downstairs, take a break with your workmate and let it dry for about an hour depending on the weather conditions and uh, get yourself ready for the final coat. I also forgot to mention earlier that while we've washed the roof changed the gutters, replaced the polycarbonate, we also inspected the skylights and saw that they weren't in the best shape so we've installed a new skylight as well to match the new roof coat and the opal polycarbonate roof. Alrighty, now that our second coat is all dry it's time to put in our third and final coat. Let's get into it. And there you have it. Once your third and final coat is dry, you can go around and remove all your plastic wrap from your polycarbonate, from your skylights and your air conditioning units. You can remove all your ropes off the roof and make sure everything's neat and clean. The gutters are all finished. And there you go. That is how easy it is to restore an old color bond roof back to its former glory. And you can make your old roof look like this to this. To go from this to this i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys on the next roof thanks guys bye